Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World video where today we're traveling throughout the Jurassic timeline and taking a step onto Isla Nublar, the island that I'm sure that every single one of you knows about, but instead we'll be talking about the dinosaurs you probably didn't know about that existed on this island. This is some hidden lore that only a few amount of fans actually know about. Whilst there were some dinosaurs such as the Segisaurus and Proceratosaurus that were planned for the original Jurassic Park back in the early 90s, we're going to be focusing more on the dinosaurs that were cloned for Jurassic World since its opening back in 2005 to its fall in 2015. So if you're excited to learn more about the dinosaur species of this island, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. But for now, it's time to get into the video and start talking about the Jurassic World dinosaurs that you probably didn't know about. Throughout Jurassic World, I am sure that plenty of you know about the main dinosaur species such as the Tyrannosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus and more, but you may also know the lesser known dinosaurs that were alive on Isla Nublar during Jurassic World such as the reported Spinosaurus and even dinosaurs such as Pachycephalosaurus which only sadly got less than 5 seconds of screen time in the movie. However, there were numerous of dinosaurs that never got shown during Jurassic World that appeared in other movies or shows on Isla Nublar. Thanks to the heavy influence from Fallen Kingdom, we have loads of new species that were never originally known about appearing in Jurassic World. So let's go through them one by one. Monolophosaurus the Monolophosaurus was introduced into Jurassic Canon via Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3. This dinosaur was a small and nimble carnivore that was described as a creature that likes to keep to themselves. However, Darius was made to eat his words later in that episode as we see a group of Monolophosauruses track down the campers and attempt to eat them. How and where this dinosaur came from is completely unknown, but we have our speculation, just like our next species, the Aranosaurus. Oranosaurus also appeared in Camp Cretaceous Season 3 alongside the Monolophosaurus, but its story is very similar to the Monolophosaurus's as we don't really know where they came from. Our suspicions are that these two dinosaurs came from a secret program that absolutely no one knew about for Jurassic World. This is because both of these species were only found alive in the north sector of the island that was under restrictions from the public and very near the labs that Dr. Wu did his private research in as well as his activities. So it's a great theory to make that these species came from there. Scorpius Rex This dinosaur, well, I'm sure you already know about it. The first successful hybrid dinosaur that was ever made when it was born back in 2009. Unfortunately, due to its messy mentality and aggression, this dinosaur was put into cryogenic freeze after Dr. Wu was ordered to by Masrani. However, later in 2016, a short circuit in the system caused the release of the Scorpius Rex which went around causing havoc on the island. Eventually, it cloned itself, but both versions of this dinosaur were killed off after the original Jurassic Park Visitor Center was destroyed and collapsed on top of them. Metria Camphosaurus An arguably fan favourite dinosaur that we never got to see in the movies. All we have is an official concept art by in-universe artists for the DPG during the report on Masrani. This dinosaur also appears in Jurassic World Evolution 2 but again is yet to have been seen. Stegimoloch, Cynoceratops and Allosaurus All of these dinosaurs were huge surprises when we finally got to see them debut during Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom whilst they're running away from the pyroclastic flow from Mount Sebo. Allosaurus later appeared in Battle of Big Rock as well as Jurassic World Dominion, whereas Stiggy Moloch only reappeared in Fallen Kingdom with merely 3 seconds of screen time in Jurassic World Dominion. Cynoceratops only appeared in Jurassic World Dominion after these events. It was originally planned to have been Pachyvrinosaurus as well. Momenchisaurus A sauropod that we only got to see for 5 seconds during the Lost World Jurassic Park. It has been reported by the DPG that this lengthy herbivore was found to have been mistreated or extinct during their report on the ecosystem of Isla Nublar back in 2018. Euoplocephalus A dinosaur that kindly resembles the Ankylosaurus, it is in fact canon that it was alive at some point on Isla Nublar after the DPG's 2018 report. Its fate was similar to that of the Metriocamphosauruses. Silurus Nothing much is known about this little guy being on Isla Nublar, it's gone extinct to this island and sadly it really isn't a dinosaur that many people think of 
and a dinosaur that I don't think we'll ever get to really see anytime soon as they look very similar to Comsignathus. And we all know why Segisaurus was left out. Dilophosaurus, another fan favourite dinosaur from Jurassic Park. But this dinosaur didn't appear again until Jurassic World Dominion on screen. However, it should be noted that subtle hoots of the Dilophosaurus were used during the opening sequence of Fallen Kingdom. It even shows a bush rustling around, as one Dilophosaurus is hunting Jack to add a little bit more terror into the scene. This dinosaur was also seen alive during 2016, as we see them start to attack Lewis Dodson and his group back on Isla Nublar in Camp Cretaceous Season 5, further proving that they were in fact alive and kicking in Jurassic World. Microceratus the director of Jurassic World and Jurassic World Dominion has stated multiple times that the Microceratus is one of his favourite dinosaurs that he's tried to get into the movies. We finally saw its debut in Jurassic World Dominion in a small degree and was even perfectly used during the 80s clip to where we see young Charlotte Lockwood as we know it was a dinosaur that was one of the first original cloned species. This guy even had concept art in behind the scenes for Jurassic World as it was planned for that movie. Some marketing videos for Jurassic World even showed a Microceratus model that was planned to have been used. Overall, a little dinosaur that I'm glad we finally got to see on screen. Corythosaurus Corythosaurus was a dinosaur that literally has maybe 4 seconds of total screen time in the entire saga, and most of those seconds, when they are in frame, is just a blurry mess. Its only appearance was in Jurassic Park 3 but that clearly didn't stop the dinosaur from being cloned again or possibly moved on over to Jurassic World on Isla Nublar. Ceratosaurus, another Jurassic Park 3 dinosaur. Ceratosaurus was revealed to have been alive on Isla Nublar back in 2018 thanks to the DPG report. We never got to see this until its appearance in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Seasons 2 and 3. In fact, we see that there are actually two variants of this dinosaur. One supporting the Jurassic Park 3 colorization, and the other one in an all grey colorization too. Suchomimus. The last Spinosaurid that will complete the trio on screen is Suchomimus, and a dinosaur that I know holds a lot of fans' hearts and souls. This dinosaur was reported to have been alive around the Cretaceous Cruise, where the guests were able to catch a glimpse of this carnival. It was also intended for Jurassic World Dominion in Malta, but sadly never got to see the light of day. Pachyrhinosaurus This dinosaur was intended to have been in place of the Cynoceratops during Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Fear not however, whilst we haven't seen it appear on screen just yet, it was confirmed that its name can be seen on the list of dinosaurs that were saved from Isla Nublar during the fall of this island. Edmontosaurus this dinosaur's only appearance was it showing as a dead carcass during the Tyrannosaurus Rex introduction scene in Jurassic Park 3. All mangled, you can't really tell it was an Edmontosaurus. However, it's confirmed that this species was alive on Isla Nublar as well for Jurassic World. Deinonychus Arguably, the most intriguing one on this list, Deinonychus was also reported to have been alive on Isla Nublar during Jurassic World also meaning that the Velociraptor wasn't the only Dromaeosaurid that was alive on this island. Sadly, we have yet to see its design with the video game Jurassic World Evolution being its only appearance, with a creative, free license from the developers. Segisaurus. I mean, do I even need to say much about this guy? He was intended for Jurassic Park, never saw the light of day. He was replaced by Comsignathus because they just looked too similar. So I say, justice for the Segisaurus. Lesotosaurus. And finally, Lesotosaurus, a dinosaur that I wouldn't mind seeing appear someday in the franchise. Sure, it may not be anything special, but it looks similar to a Dryosaurus and could be used for a cute addition in the franchise someday. And there we have it, 21 dinosaur species that you probably didn't know existed on Isla Nublar. I do have a gut feeling that I might have missed maybe one or two dinosaurs, but for now, these are all of the confirmed species that lived on Isla Nublar during Jurassic World that are much more obscure to the majority of the fandom and viewers. If this was a video that piqued your interest and you enjoyed, then please feel free to like the video and share it around to teach your friends some more fun, interesting Jurassic lore that they might not have known about. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.
Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.